I think yes. Recording has started. OK. You are really fast. Making a paper cube. Hmm? Anand and his friends are making a cube with paper. They cut a sheet of paper into a square of 19.5 centimeters side. They cut six such squares. Follow these photos to make your paper cube. OK, one more first question, one minute. Uh, the first question for you is. Uh, why did they choose? Why did they cut? Why did they choose uh, six? sheets I knew you were going to ask me this question because okay. the cube, a cube has six sides like six very good six is so each phase they're gonna maybe they're gonna be making some uh, squares okay uh okay see your favorite square of 19 okay let's see okay now in the first first okay let me hide this out okay the fourth is the first step they cut a sheet of paper into a square. Now the first question is, wh what do you think is the. Um, what is the dimension of this? This 19.5 centimeters. Very good. This is 19.5 centimeters. And how about this one? 19.5 centimeters. OK. 19.5 centimeters and in the first step or can you read out the first step? Hold the paper into four equal parts to make lines like this. OK, next. What is this dimension? How do you calculate this dimension? What Nine, are how much? 19.5 centimeters. OK. Divided by four. Very good. That's what I wanted. Good. And this is 19.5 divided by 4. And how about this one? Also 19.5. Very good. How about this? This also 19.5 divided by 4. This also is, is 19.5 divided by 4. Is this a mixed fraction? Yeah, this is definitely a mixed fraction. I'll show you. Uh, to be honest, I mean, 19.5. Okay. Div you want to divide it into four equal parts. Okay, 19.5 is nothing but. How can I write 19.5? 39 by 2, can I say? Yeah. Is it correct? 39 by 2? Uh. OK, let me. OK, because you have asked this question, let's spend some time time in it, OK? No, ah. it's not. Mm, yeah, wait a minute. Let me check. So 19.5. Can I write like, can I write 19.5 as 19.5 divided by 1? Yeah. Yeah. Now, can I multiply 195, 19.5 uh, into 10 and denominator also by 10 into 10? Yes. So, it's, is it, does it value change? No. What type of fraction is this? Equivalent. Okay. What is 19.5 into 10? It is 195. 195. Beautiful. Next, what is 1 into 10? 10. 10 only. OK, now remember what I'll do. Uh, I can. Can I divide the OK? What I'll do is I'll divide the numerator also by 2, also by 5, sorry. Mm. Uh, and the denominator also by 5. Will it change? Will it change? No. no because they are equivalent fractions. Equivalent. OK, so what is 195 by 5? 195 by 5. Five ones are five threes are is fifteen. Okay. Thirty-nine. Very good. Very good. Okay. Four remainder. Fifteen. Four remainder. Nineteen. Uh, nineteen is the first two digits is nineteen, right? Three size fifteen. So four is a remainder. Four will yes. get engaged with the next digit. Forty-five it becomes four. It will be four nine five nines are thirty-nine. So one ninety-five by five is thirty-nine by one which is 39 only. OK, yes. so I can write this fraction as 39. OK, the numerator as this numerator as. So what is 10 divided by 5? 10 divided by 5 is 
two. Very good, two. Okay, so 19.5 can be written as 39 by two. Okay, that is the first step I did. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me do it one minute. Okay, now next is, let's do it. Two, 39, yeah. right? Yes. One times is two. Yeah. Yes. One is a remainder. I'll bring down, I'll invite nine to participate. 19 it becomes. So nine za is 18. One is a remainder. So what I'll do is 19 whole parts and another one by two is remaining. One by two. Right? So yeah. do you remember in your class exams if they put 19.5 marks, if you have scored 19 and a half, they write it like this, right? Yes. Right? They both are same, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. So uh, continue. <laughs> second step. What is the second step? Read the second step. Fold the top left corner and the corner opposite to it like this. Hmm. So basically they are folding from here. Right. Yeah. And here also they are folding it from here. OK. Yes. yes. Next, 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 next step. Fold the top and the bottom edges to meet the center line. OK, then you're then the, what they did is what they're doing is they are just folding this thing. They're take they're folding the paper about this line. Uh, yes. And about this line when they do it, this edge will will meet here and this edge will meet here and the same edge here. OK, you should concentrate. It's, a, it's yeah. a, it will de you will develop your the creativity. OK. Next. So that the paper looks like this. I think do you need to again further. Uh, uh, yeah, further you need to make again. You need to uh, hold it somewhere. OK. Yes. Again, read it. Fold corner Q in the same way. The paper will look like this now. Okay. I think uh, this is activity you're supposed to do it online. I'm, I'm sorry, offline. Okay. Because I could have, I could have shown it to you, um, but that's okay. You, you try it at home. Okay. Ready. Yeah. Next step corner P and slip it under the folded paper like this. Okay, okay, okay. Encourage children to make different shapes of the same volume using identical units. For example, bricks or matchboxes to calculate the size of the platform. Lens can be rounded off to the nearest centimeters. Okay, next. I think still there are a few more steps. Read it. Do the same for corner Q. The paper will look like this. Turn the paper and fold it to make lines like this. Each maybe, child. Maybe there maybe maybe you need to bend it along this line. Yes. Each child. So should... this is the this is what it is happening. Maybe. Maybe I'm just saying. Right? Okay. Yeah. Each child should make one such piece. Six. Six children will take their pieces and put one inside another to make this paper cube. Okay, like this. Okay, read note. Note. Remember to begin with a square paper of side 19.5 centimeter. Also, in step two, you must. Mm -hmm. You also, all, all start by folding the left corner. Okay. 
probably can you guess what will be the side of the cube now? Hmm. What is this? What will be the side of the cube? 19.5 divided by 6. 6. Uh, why 6? Yeah, because 6 sides of a cube. and 6 sides of the cube. No, how is it? How do you say it is 19.5 divided by 6? Uh, notice this edge. Yeah. How did you arrive at 19.5 divided by 6? What uh, something comes to your mind? You are telling it. Think. Um, look at this one. Look at this one. See. Look at the next. Look at all the pitch. All the pictures you have. We can see. Look at this side. This is one of the uh, sides of the cube, right? Yeah, can okay. you scroll up? Okay. See, this is also becoming one of the sides of a cube, edge of the cube. This may yes. also become one of the edge of the cube, one of the edge of the... What is this dimension? Where did you find the relation? 19.5 divided by 4. Very good. This is what it is. At the first step, you got it, right? And if you notice everywhere, this edge is pre preserved. This length is preserved. OK, see here the same 19.5 divided by 4, 19.5 divided by 4, 19.5 same edge. OK. OK, yeah. let's see how uh, let's answer the question. Come on. How long is the side of your cube? How long? 19.5 divided by 4. Very good. 19.5 divided by 4. How much? What is the unit? Uh, centimeters. A centimeter. OK. Read, read this bubble. How many centimeter cubes in all do I need to make a platform as big as the paper cube? Where is the paper cube? No, I don't understand. What is this? Oh, in the starting, we had the paper, no? Oh, OK, uh-huh. One side should be as big as that one. Oh, 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 OK, OK. OK. So it should be 19.5 into 4. Very good, OK, OK, OK. If that is the case, then add a scope. How many centimeter cubes? See, remember, you're not. Four cubes is sufficient. Check, check, check. See, you need to see, you will place. Let's say you need you have a cube here, cube which is made out of 19.5 centimeters paper. OK. Yeah. Let's say. OK, and uh, I'll have a smaller paper cube here. Yes. Which is what is the dimension of it? A dimension will be 19.5 divided by uh, four. Very good. So how many cubes can fill in in this? How many how many such small cubes can fill uh, fill the big big uh, row, uh, length of the cube? This four. One, uh, four. Beautiful. 19.4 into 19.4 19.5 divided by 4 into 4 is 19.5. So four cubes will fill 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 in this direction. Likewise in this direction. Also four. Very good. So also four. OK. And how about the height? Also four. Very good. So totally how many cubes will be there? To fill the entire cube. In the ground floor, how many how many cubes will be there? Four. Ground floors, how many cubes? Uh, Twenty-four. How uh, how do you get twenty-four? Four on each side. So four into six equals. Why six? No, no four I'm into four. Sixteen. That's what I'm telling you. What is this? Where is your brain? Four into four. I have four rows and four columns. 
So in this first no. floor, yeah. I have no. four into four sixteen. But 16 actually, cubes. it will be twelve. Why twelve? Because in the corners, the same cubes will be there, no? Think again. Think again. Think. 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 See one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's say like this. I'll I'll try the top view of the this one. Okay. How many cubes? Sixteen. One, two, three, four. Four cubes, right? Four here, right? How many yes. in this there, uh, columns? One, two, three, four. Four columns, right? Yes. So it, this is also in the corner, right? Of both. Yes. How many did you? How many is there? How many squares are there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four into four is sixteen. Sixteen. So in the ground floor you have sixteen cubes. Mm. So likewise, how many floors are there? Four. So totally, how much? How 16. many cubes? Sixteen. 16 okay. Into four. Which is sixty four. Very good. Okay. Now let's answer this. Length equals four. How is four? Huh? Remember centimeter cube. Initially we started off with one centimeter cube, right? Centimeter. Centi centimeter cube is one centimeter by one centimeter and one centimeter, right? Yes. So imagine how many such cubes can be filled in here. Use approximately give you some answers. 19 divided by 4 is the sides, right? We got it. Yes. Let's assume it to be, let's approximate it to what is the next approximation, 19.5? 20. 20. 20 by 4, let's assume the side, side it. What is 25 by 4? 20 by 4? 5. 5. So how many cube, how many uh, centimeter cubes are filled in, in this direction? 5. 5. Okay. Along the length, I can fill in 5, cent five, uh, five centimeter cubes. So 1 centimeter cube will be of dimension 1 centimeter each, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Along width, along this direction, how many? Also how many centimeter cube? Also? Five. Along height? Five. Okay. Okay. Next read. To make the first layer on the Where table. are you reading? Answer Timpu's questions. Uh -huh. To make the first layer on the table, how many centimeter cubes will I use? How many? First layer, how many centimeter cubes you will be needing to needing now? So the length equals uh, five, width equals five, height equals five. Uh -huh. So he said, so observe the question first. First, observe the question and answer me. Neatly observe the question to make the first layer. Yes. First layer on the table. How many centimeters will I use? First layer, first floor. How will you calculate? Uh, first, we have to find how many cubes are there in all. Hey, we already connected to this question. Something related to this question. We are still continuing, right? Yes. Why do you want to calculate it again? Tell me. Five how many? Five. Oh, what is it? Five to five. Twenty-five. Next. Read next question. How many such layers will I need to make a paper cube? How many such layers? How many layers you need to make? Five. Why do you take so long? 
Okay, now tell me. Read next question. So the total centimeter cubes. How do you calculate the total number of centimeter cubes? Five, five into five into five. Okay, five into five is the first layer, one layers, and there are totally five layers. So another five, five into five into five, which is one twenty five. 125 cubes you need. Okay? Yes. Read it. Uh, yeah, okay. The volume of the paper cube is same as 125 so, centimeter cube. Very good. There are because how many how many cubes are there? Small cubes? 125 cubes are there. Okay. And each small cubes are of dimension one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. So one into one into one is one centimeter. So there are 25, 125 cubes. So the total volume will be 125 centimeters cube. Okay. If we begin with square pa square paper of side 19.5, then we get a cube of side seven centimeters. Oh my God. Then we need to investigate this. How is this possible? Where did we go wrong? That's what we need to do. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's see why we want, let's investigate this. Why if you begin with the square paper of side 19.5 centimeters, then we get a cube of side seven centimeter. How is it possible? This is what we understood, right? 19.5, 19.5, 19.5. So then he cuts it like this. Then he does like this. Then it goes like this. See what he has done is in step four. He has split it like this. He has put this P. He has brought this P into like this. That is why P is shown here. So basically, he's cutting. He's bending it like this at about this line. Okay. So this will be 19.5 divided by. This is 19.5 divided by 4 plus 19.5 divided by 4, which is 19.5 by 2 only. OK, the, this this side. Yeah. OK, that is this side. OK, next step, what he does is I have I now have. Uh, OK, now what he does after this is bending it about like this. OK, so this Q is going up. Yeah, is OK, so this is still 19.5 by 2. Uh, OK, yes. yes or no, this is 19.5 by 2. This is what we calculated. Yes. But this is 19.5 by 4 it is. Yeah, this is still 19.5 by 2. OK. So next he's is just okay. After this, they will have some sh shape like this. Okay, they are gonna definitely gonna have a shape like this. Yeah. Okay, next what they do? Okay, let's do that later. Okay, let's do it at home. Okay, when we have when we are at uh, this one, at home we'll do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, give me, give me a minute. Okay. <laughs>
You are on mute. I muted you. You can talk. Yeah. You can talk. Okay. And Read. I made a big cube having double the side of your paper cube. Okay. How many of the how many of the your what? You are first read, open your eyes and read properly. Don't guess anything first. Read it. Your paper cubes will fit in it. Oh. Try okay, doing let's... it by collecting all the cubes made in your class. Okay, let's say, okay, oh, let's see one minute. Let's begin. Okay, let's now, for example, let's try it I out. Think, I, I think it would be four. In this case, it is four, right? It says yeah. four cubes. Yeah. Think properly, Hari. Think, don't be in a, don't be in a hurry. Okay. Think, recheck, eight. and then tell me, huh? Eight. Oh. Eight cubes will be required. Okay, in this first first layer itself, it will be two by two, which is four four cubes will be used up. So another how many layers are there? Two layers are there. Four into two is eight layers. Yeah. Okay. Next, read it down. Packing, read said. Packing cubes, Ganesh and Dinga want to pack 4,000 centimeter cubes in boxes. These are to be sent to a school. There are three different boxes available for packing. Okay, let's check. Let's check. Uh, how many packs are there? How many boxes are there? Packaging boxes are there here? There are three. Three, okay. And let is this is B. Let's say this is let us call this as C, and let's call this as A. Okay, yeah. you yeah. know right? How many uh, you know about? We already know about centimeter, one centimeter cube, right? Yeah. Okay, I have a one centimeter cube, one centimeter cube, one centimeter cube like this. Okay. Huh? Yes. Yeah. The each side is one centimeters, so it is called centimeter. It is called a centimeter cube. Okay. Yes. Now you want? Uh, do you want me to ask a direct question, or uh, should I help you in answering? Uh, okay, tell me now. Think carefully, and yeah. tell me how many centimeters cubes I can fill it here on figure A, box A. And first, tell me how you. Or what is the procedure you want to do? And then first tell me. To, first, we have to calculate the volume of it. How many? Okay. That is a that is okay. Listen, you're not the dog uh, going directly going to calculate a volume of it. Okay, how many? I'm asking you, how many centimeter cubes can fill in here? Fill in box A. What numbers you will do? What numbers you will use? Twenty. How? Into, uh, Twenty into ten into six. Very good. Twenty into ten into six. Number of centimeter cubes I can fill in here. Okay, why 20? Because there are 20 centimeters along the length. So 20 cubes along the length, I can fill it here. And yeah. there is a 10 centimeters along the width. So 10 cubes along the uh, width. So in the first layer, it will be 20 into 10. That is 200 centimeters cubes, small cubes I can fill. And how many layers in height direction I can fill? So say there are six centimeters, so there will be six layers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, twenty to ten into six. So many number of small cubes I can fill. One thousand two hundred. One thousand two hundred. One thousand two hundred. What are number of centimeters cubes? So one centimeter cube. The volume of this is one centimeter cube. So so the volume of this box is thousand two uh, thousand two hundred centimeters cube. Okay, likewise, can you tell me the box B? How do you tell me? First, how? First, tell me how. 11, how many into, number? 11 into 10. Very good. So, the number of centimeters cubes I can fill in, fill in here, here is 11 into 11 into 10. I got the answer. What? 
121 and there is one more into 10 is one more zero. So basically, see, this box is, which box is bigger? This box or this box, A or B? B. Very good, okay. But but actually, A looks bigger, right? Uh, yeah. Huh? yeah. To our eyes. Okay. Yeah. Now let's see, how do you, how many number of centimeters cubes can fill, how many number of small cubes can fill this box C? How? Okay, okay. Oh, I... First tell me how. I think I can already tell it's biggest. I am asking you how you calculate first. 15 into 9 into 10. Okay. 15 into 9 into 10. How much? 15 nines is how much? 15 nines is how much? Wait, wait, wait. 135. Okay, 135. Into 10 is? 1350. This is the biggest. Okay? Yeah. Okay, is that the question? No, we haven't arrived at the question. We just verified it. Okay. Uh, read it. We will be able to fill. We, what, what? Read it properly. Will we be able to fit all? 4,000 cubes in these three boxes. I think we need one more box for it. Is it correct? I have to check it. I don't know. How do you check? Uh, 1,200 into 1,200 plus 1,210 plus 1,350. How much will it come to? So 1,200 plus 1,200 is 2,410, yeah. right? Yes. Another 1,000 is 3,410. Okay. And then 50 is 3,460. And another 3,300 is 3,760. Okay. No, no. We'll be short. Short by how much? What? We'll be short by how much? What number did you write? The three. Uh, we'll be short. We'll be short by uh, two forty. Very good, two forty. See, I just did like this. First volume A is two thousand thousand two hundred. Another, the second volume of B is thousand two ten, and then the third one is one three five zero. Yeah. Which comes to be zero six and seven three three seven six zero. Yeah. Okay, centimeters cube. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we we were targeting. What is the target? Four thousand centimeter cubes is the target. Yeah. So uh, we'll be in need of two forty centimeters cube. Yes. Okay. Please hold on a minute. Boo! You back? Yeah, I'm back. Okay, next. Okay, the target was 4,000 centimeter cubes, but we are <laughs> falling short of uh, uh, 4,000 centimeter by 240 centimeter cubes. Okay? Yes. So who is correct? Dinga or Ganesh? Dinga. Dinga is correct and Ganesh is wrong. Okay. Yeah. So we've already answered. Who is right? Dinga is right. Okay, we already answered this. Now, read it. How 
can Ganesh and Dinga test their guesses before packaging, packing the cubes in the boxes? Discuss with your friend. Mm. I think we have already done it, right? Next. Yeah. Look at box A. In the first layer, we can arrange 20 into 10 equals 200 cubes and six such layers can be packed. So in box A, we can arrange 1,200 cubes. That okay. is what we did. That is what we did. Okay. This is our third page for today. Mm -hmm. Use Read. Ganesh's method and write. This we've already done it. Don't worry. This three questions we've already done it. And write what yeah. dash centimeter. Read it. Dash centimeter cubes can be arranged in box B. I'll guess it. I'll guess it. Yeah. One, two, one, zero. Very good. Next. Dash centimeter cubes can be arranged in bo box C. One, three, five, zero. Very good. Read it. <laughs> So dash centimeter cubes in all can be packed in three boxes. Three seven six zero. Very seven, good. Three seven six, six zero. zero. Okay, good. Next activity. Which pipe fills more? Oh, okay. Read collect, it. Collect some old postcards. You can also use thick paper of size 14 centimeter into 9 centimeter okay remember these dimensions okay next okay i'll just um uh, let's assume that this is a postcard okay let's let's assume the same dimensions on the postcard okay what would be this dimension Nine centimeter. Very good. If you had told me fourteen centimeter, I would have clicked it. <laughs> okay. And what about what about this one? Fourteen centimeter. Okay. Because because looking at this, this looks wider, right? Longer than the this one. Yeah. That is why you should proper we we properly chose the correct dimensions here. Okay. Yeah. Next. Fold the postcard along the width to make pipe one. Join the ends with cello tape. Okay. Now tell me what would be, you understood this question, right? Now what is this length? Length of the cylinder. What shape it makes? First of all, tell me. What it shape make, it makes? It's make it makes an open cylinder. Very good cylinder. Hello cylinder or open. Uh, uh, okay, hello cylinder or um, open cylinder. Why open? Because the, the two two top and bottom sides are open. See, open. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Now tell me. Let's see what is the other questions. Yes. Now I asked you. First question was what type of what solid object what what object makes what shape it makes. You said cylinder. Okay. Next, what is this length? What? Nine what? centimeters. Think, think, think. What? What is this length? Length. Now, what is the dimension of this one? Nine centimeters only. Mm, okay, let's see. Uh, see, you're absolutely correct because there are two different answers that I can give you. See, uh, if you look at this, okay, he says, okay, let's uh, let's debate this. Okay, po uh, fold the postcard along the width. Let's say this is the width. Yeah. Okay, if I fold it along like this, if I make a, if I fold it along like this, huh? Yeah. 
So mm. what will happen is, I'll the length of the cylinder would be this was fourteen. Yeah. Okay, but unfortunately, look at this figure. There are lines, right? Yeah. These lines. Those refer to these lines. Yeah. Right. Which looks like parallel to this edge. So they have folded like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So in then which it case it will be nine centimeters only. Yeah. In which case it will be nine centimeters. This length will be nine centimeters. But again, there is a mistake. You see, this is a tiger, right? What are, I don't know which animal is this. Tiger, I right? Cat or something. I don't know. What? Are, uh, no. Usually, stamp on stamp. I think I guess it is a tiger or something. See, but if you see this is if this is a tiger, you see it's a foot somewhere here, right? Yes. Yeah. This is foot. Its foot is parallel to one of the edges here. See, yeah. now I have a parallel to this. I have a I have a, a tiger. I have this tiger, and I have this foot. Okay, so it's parallel to this edge. So in which case this should be fourteen centimeters, right? Yeah. Okay. Those things you should observe. Now tell me. Let's con. Let's assume that it is a nine centimeters. Okay. The yeah, length is nine I centimeters and proceed. I need more time actually. Why? Okay. Uh, send me the request. Send. Okay. Yes, I have a load you. Next, read it. Yeah. Read. Read it. Okay. Take another postcard and fold it along the length to make pipe two. Join okay. the end. See, see, see this one, this one, this one. See this. Pipe two. One minute. Read it. Read it. Read it. See the pipe one. Yeah. Is this one? Okay. Yes. Yes. And pipe two. Is this one right? Yeah. Okay. Now according to this one, what? Now you can we correct the length? Fourteen. What is? This is fourteen centimeters, right? That's actually I was close. correct. <gasps> Don't say that. Okay, they were. They might be watching you. Uh, this is fourteen centimeters, right? And this will be. What is height of this pipe two? Nine centimeters. Nine centimeters. Okay. Yes, read it. Yes. Read it. Read it from here. Guess which. Pipe can take more sand inside it. Hold it on a plate and pour sand to check your guess. Was your guess correct? Discuss. I think it will be the same amount. Mm, I don't think so because I told you. Remember how do you calculate? Because the, no, I'll prove you wrong. I'll prove you. Okay. Because you are not changing the shape at all. No, you are just it's the same thing. You can no, pour no, the same no, amount no. of sand. Okay, let's see. Let's observe. Let's let's calculate. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's it's a homework for you. Okay, you know, uh, I taught you something. I mean, I if I remember, maybe uh, okay. Yesterday, I I thought I gave you a formula, right? Volume of cylinder is calculated using pi r squared h. Yeah. Correct pi r squared h. Okay, yes. what you are supposed to do is, huh? Yeah. You have to use this formula to calculate the volume of this pipe one. Yes. Okay, for pipe one, what is the value of h? For pipe one, the value of h would be fourteen centimeters. Very good. R, do you know r? The value of r pi for for pipe one. Uh. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. We will. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. We'll do that later. And for 
pipe two, what is the value of H? Nine centimeters. Nine centimeter. Okay, basically you need to check. You just need to calculate the volume of this and volume of this. One way is you can practically do. You can do practical. Okay, take this and then for uh, prep, uh, make a pipe one and pipe two, and then fill it with sand and then compare those two. Whichever is more than that pipe has more volume. Okay. Yeah. Because we don't have, we are not doing any practical. Then let's do calculate. Okay. So yeah. I, you, this is you agree with this formula. You remember this formula. Okay. Pi r squared h is the volume of the cylinder. Yeah. You know why pi r squared is the area of a circle. Right. Area yeah. of the circle, this circle, top circle or bottom circle. And if you multiply with the height. You will get the high to, uh, total volume of the cylinder. OK. Yeah. Yes, you remember that. But in this case, we don't know the value of R radius of the. Do you think the both uh, both the cylinders will give you the same uh, radius? Will have the same radius. Which cylinder radius is more pipe one or pipe two? Pipe, uh, pipe one is pipe two. OK, OK, beautiful, correct. See, now tell me, you know about, so I, I know, what is this, what is the circumference or the perimeter of this circle? Of pipe one, pipe one's top circle. What is the perimeter of the uh, of top circle of the pipe one? Think and answer. You know perimeter, right? You know, right? Perim what, what do you mean by perimeter, you know? Yeah. Uh, fencing, fencing, you remember? Yeah. Can you repeat the question again? Hello? Hello.
Halo. Halo. Oh, one minute, I'll be back. The answer is nine centimeters. Hare Krishna, tell me, huh? Uh, what is, is the peri? Huh? huh? Nine centimeters. Beautiful. This is nine centimeters. Perimeter. This is okay. And yes. how about the perimeter of this? Uh, fourteen centimeters. Uh, this pipe to fourteen centimeters. Okay. Now, yeah. okay. I'll I'll give you a hint. You have to work it out when you're free. Okay. And then tell me what is the volume of pipe one and pipe two later on. Okay. So you, this is perimeter, not the radius. What do we need for to calculate the volume of the cylinder? The formula is pi r squared into h. Yes. OK, r squared, you know, right? What do you mean by r squared? r into r. Yes. OK, so uh, we don't know r yet. We need to calculate, but we know the perimeter. Of yes. each circle, how I'll give you another. I'll give you an equation. Just you try it and then give me an answer. OK, perimeter is given by Let's say P. Let, let me call it as P. Perimeter of a circle is given by huh? yes. 2 pi R. OK, yes. 2 into pi into R. OK, yes. you the value of pi is 22 by 7. Let's say 22 by 7 or you can yes. use 3.14. You know it, right? Yes, 3.142, let's say. Huh? You use those value. OK. Yes. Okay, let's now consider this equation. First, first the perimeter equation. This equation. Do you know P? Uh, For pipe one, do you know P? What is the value of P? Fourteen centimeters. Nine centimeters. Nine centimeters. Okay, this is perimeter. Okay, and do we can we can we calculate R using this equation? R. What is the can we calculate the radius of pipe one now? Yes. Okay. How will it be? Pi divided uh, p divided by uh, two uh, two pi. Beautiful, fantastic, fantastic. I know you you never heard this. I mean, uh, <laughs> if you're okay, good. I'm really proud. Okay. So you can calculate R. Okay. Of pipe one. OK, yes. now similarly, what is the value of P for pipe 2? Yeah. P divided by 2 pi. First, tell me what is the value. I know, I understand. I'm not. I'm not asking you R, how to calculate R. I'm asking you, do you know P value of R uh, pipe two? Yes. What? What? Fourteen centimeters. Very good. Fourteen, you know, right? Fourteen. You know P. Can you calculate? You can. You can calculate R value, right? So once using this equation, we'll calculate the value of R for the cylinder, and also the R calculate the radius of the second pipe. So when yes. you know the radius of the first pipe and the radius of the second pipe, you also know the radius of the height of the first cylinder and then sec height of the second cylinder. So you can calculate the two volumes, right? Right? Yes. So yeah. and then you can compare. Okay? Yes. Let's read it. Uh. 
Um, okay, there is. Okay. Now do the, now do the same with other pipes shown here. Okay, basically, basically, what shape is this? Is this pipe three? What shape is this pipe three? Tell me the face. What is this shape? Triangle. Okay. This is triangle. You basically calculate this area and then multiply by this height. Yeah. You get what is this height? How much is this height? Nine centimeters. Very good. Nine centimeters, you know this. Okay, and what is the perimeter of this triangle? That means you add this this side, this ply, this side plus this side. How much? This side plus this side plus this side is how much? 14 centimeters. Why do you take so long? 14 centimeters. Okay. Now there is another formula to calculate the area of this uh, triangle, but I think it will be too much for you. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next. Yeah. How? What is the shape? The okay. You know what is the shape of the solid object? I mean, is it like a cone or something? Cone is uh, like this, right? No. It will be circular. Not. It will have a circular face. Um, Does it? Is it having a circular face here? No. What is the shape? You have gone through this actually in your uh, earlier classes, maybe in your first standard, second standard, or probably standard, second standard. Yes, you have learned it. I know. I don't remember actually. I remember. Stretch triangle. <laughs> no, it's a prism. I don't remember that. Really. You have to remember. You have remember. You have forgotten. Okay. Okay, you should not feel proud of uh, forgetting things. Yeah. Okay. So this is the prism. Remember prism. Uh, just remember example prism examples you might have seen in YouTube videos, right? You have a prism like this, and they pass a light here, and it will get uh, bent like this, or even rainbows like this. Okay, we'll come when we discuss physics. We'll just talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Now, what shape is this one? That's a square. Okay. What is the height is? What is the height? That would be nine centimeters. Nine centimeters. What would be this? Fourteen centimeters. Okay. What would be the size of each side? What would be the size of this circle uh, uh, square? What? Fourteen centimeters. I say I'm not fourteen centimeters. Is what is that? The size of a square or perimeter of a square? Perimeter. I'm asking you side now. Fourteen divided by four. Okay, fourteen divided by four. Fourteen divided by two is seven. Okay. Yes. So, so seven by two it, it will be. Okay. So yeah. seven by two is three point five centimeters. Okay, we know three point five centimeters. So can I not calculate the area of the square? How do you calculate the area of the square? Three point five into three point five. Okay, area is into. Okay, but when you ask for a perimeter, you need to add all the, all the sides. One, two, three, four. Okay, add all the sides. Three point five is the area of this square. And how do you calculate the volume of this uh, this pipe? Pipe four. Volume. Hmm. Try it out. We have to calculate the area of the square. Just tell me the number. I, I'm not. Area. I'm not asking. 
I'm not asking you for the for complete answer. Just tell me what, 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 what into what into what. Area into. How did you calculate area? What is that we calculated here? Three point five is one side of a, that square. Okay, now you tell me. Uh, calculate the area. Uh, okay, what is the volume now? 3.5 into 3.5 is the area. Okay, next. Area. Next, what is the volume? How will you calculate the volume of this? Into 9. Ah, beautiful. This is what I want. 3.5 into 3.5 into 9. Okay, if you do this, uh, you will get... Yeah. Someone has come at the door. After. Okay. Come back soon. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, now tell me, continue. Yeah, then where should we do it? Yeah, okay. Oh. Find out which pipe can take the most sand inside it. So which pipe has the most volume? Okay, that is a homework for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Remind children of the thread activity on page 155 where they may have seen that out of the shapes they made with a fixed perimeter, the circle has a biggest area. Okay, remember this one. Okay, for a given perimeter, if they give you a perimeter, let's say for all these shapes, uh, for all these shapes, the top yeah. edge had the same perimeter, right? Yeah. Much, how much was the perimeter for all these shapes? The perimeter for all these shapes was... As, uh, sorry, for these three shapes? I don't remember. Why you don't remember? You have it here, right? 14. 14. Where is your brain? Okay. For all these, what they are telling is, the circle will have the highest area. Okay. The circle will have, compared to this triangle, square, and then the circle, circle will have the highest area. So in which case, which of the three, of, the, of these three shapes, huh? yeah. this is prism, this is yeah. cuboid and this is cylinder. Okay? Yeah. So now, can you read this statement? Remind the children of the thread activity on page where they have, they may have seen that out of the shapes they made with fixed parameter. That means same parameter, perimeter, the circle has the biggest area. Okay, circle, this circle will have the biggest area. Because let's say this shape, this shape, this shape, these three shapes has the same perimeter, right? Yeah. Okay. In that case, the circle will have the biggest perimeter, it seems. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, your task is 
of these three shapes, which one has the highest volume? Option A, cylinder. Option B, cuboid. Option C, prism. Of these three shapes, of which, these three shapes, um, which one has the biggest volume? volume? Which is A, B, C? What are you dreaming, stupid Sir, fellow? Circle, circle, circle. What is this a circle? I said, sir, A is cylinder. I'm asking cylinder. about volume. A is cylinder, B is cuboid. And C is prism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now tell me which one has the highest volume? A. Why? Because uh, it's a circle. Okay. No, it's B. Is it because a circle? I love this is also circle. Right? So the first statement was C. Height is same for all these three objects. First, this yes. pipe, this pipe, and this pipe. Height is same, yes. which is how much? Nine. Yes. Yes. And I want the area, right? I want to multiply it with the area. And just yeah. now we said oh, the perimeter of this shape, this shape, and this shape are all same. Yeah. How much is it? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, 14. So all, I have the same perimeter for all these three shapes, but we also studied that in that case, circle will have the highest area compared to these two shapes. Yeah. Right? So area is maximum for the circle. So into height, it will also be highest for the, compared to these three objects. Right? Yeah. Because nine, this area of this, let's say area of, let me call it as area of uh, area of cylinder, area of circle into nine is a volume of cylinder, correct? Yes. Next area of cuboid, sorry, area of square, area of square into nine will give me volume of what? Volume of what? Area of square. That means I'm talking about this one. With what shape is this? That's a open uh, cuboid. Okay, cuboid. You should be attentive. Cuboid. Okay. Next area of triangle. Huh? into 9 will give me volume of what? Prism. Prism. Okay. Now, into 9, into 9, into 9. Let's say, okay. Remember, into 9, into 9, into 9. So, what he says, among A circle, A circle square, and A triangle, which is maximum? A circle. Oh, this is the highest. Okay. Okay, so this is the highest number multiply by 9 will give me the highest among this, right? So volume of cylinder is the highest. Okay? Yeah. Okay, read. Trek to Gangotri. The students of class 12 are going on a trek to Gangotri. And they have to pack their bags for six days and keep them light. Uh. Read it. They also have to take things that do not take too much space. So they will look for things that have both less volume and less weight. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Volume is related to what? Space or weight? Yeah. Uh, 
space is more important yes for volume right for volume it is related to space for light they want to keep it light right that means they want to something related to weight they're talking about yes. weight okay yes. let's read it after all they will carry their own bags while climbing the mountains mm. they even dry the onions and tomatoes to make them light why do you yeah. think it why do you think why do you think they it will make them white if they dry it because when it's not dry it will contain more water very yeah. good super good 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 next read one kg of onions or tomatoes becomes 100 kg when the water inside dries up oh my god this is very interesting right yes see 1 kg is 1000 grams of onion will become 100 grams so in it is as good as taking 100 grams of onion only okay yeah. maybe uh, once they reach up they will add water available there uh, in the yeah. river or somewhere yeah. and then and then make that. it huh you can't do that you can't or can you can't why you can't add water why not if they if the water like, is available they will add it no they can't because like the the water which is there inside is tomato juice what no 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 just for cooking let's say see if you carry if you carry tomatoes or even some or even some people will use that dry on dry onions like yeah they for for making for making dishes they will directly add it is okay add it into the dish which contains water okay see instead of carrying 100 1000 grams is it not better to carry 100 grams of dry potato so dry tomatoes and then use it only when when it is required yes yeah okay read it it's a very good very interesting the uh, list of information food each person will need for one day uh huh read it rice 100 grams flour okay. Ata, hundred grams. Pulses, dal, oh, one third the weight of rice and flour. What does it mean? One third the rice weight of rice and flour means what? Hundred divided by three. Read properly. Tell me answer. Two hundred divided by three. Ah, uh, then this is where you make you lose marks in your exam. You I should be attentive, right? What you got confused? Next read. Oil fifty grams, sugar fifty grams, milk powder forty grams, forty uh. porridge and hot drink. Uh. Tea around ten grams. Uh-huh. Dalia, what is that? Dalia. I don't know. I don't know. Forty grams for breakfast. Salt, five grams. Hmm. Dried onions, ten grams. Dried tomatoes, ten grams. Hmm. Okay. Next three. What's the question? For six days, each person will need rice and flour, six hundred grams. Think, don't be stupid. How many people are there? I mean, what is he asking? Each person they are asking. Why is it required? Six hundred. One thousand two hundred. Then you want to make. We have made a practice to make mistake every time, right? Thousand two hundred because rice is hundred grams each day, flour is hundred grams each day. So 
so together they have and there are six days okay and each person one person so so 100 plus 100 100 plus 100 is per one day so many rice and flour uh, is required into six for six days okay now how many pulses pulses How will you solve first? Tell me. Uh, I'll, I'll solve. How, tell me how we, I said. How do you solve first? Tell me. 200 divided by 3 into 6. Ah, ah. Next time, don't make me angry, okay? Every time I can't, I can't repeat that. So 200 by 3 into 6. So basically yeah. one to four hundred grams. Three ones are three twos are. Two, two into two, two hundred is four hundred grams. They need four hundred grams. They need to carry four hundred grams of pulses. Now how many dry uh, dry onions? Scrap. You should remember. Ready? Sixty grams. Oh, sixty grams. First tell me. 10 into 6 and then 60. Okay? Okay. Read it. How much of fresh tomatoes should be dried for 6 days for 10 people? Yeah, and now it's a very tricky question. Very tricky question. Answer to me this. You understood, right? There was some information there also given to us before. Huh? Yeah. Now you are required to let me see. I'll give you some time. You just tell me answer to me this. How much of pressed tomatoes should be dried for six days for six for 10 people? OK, how will you solve this? It's a very good question. If you solve it, let's see. What is that your plan? You tell me first. I'm thinking. Hmm. Tell me how you what you what will be your approach strategy? Don't make me angry. I mean, I'm telling you. They are going on a trek for six days. What is your approach? How do you solve this? I am not looking for final answer. You remember? First, give me your method or steps, and then you can work on it. What will be your approach? What is your plan? I want you to speak. Uh, so if they dry the tomatoes. I'm asking you, what is your approach? How will you solve it? Now tell me, what is you? What is that you want to do? Tell me. I got it. Tell me. So the dried uh, tomatoes, huh. each person will need. Uh -huh is uh, from six days from or for six days for six days uh-huh is 60 grams beautiful okay 60 grams of dried 
60 grams of uh, why because you have 10 grams per day dried tomatoes are required for six days it is 60 grams next 60 grams okay for each person next come on for 10 people 60 into 10 which is 600 grams 600 is beautiful 600 grams is required of oh, what is this this is the dried tomatoes mm. right yeah. mm. 600 yeah. grams of dried pro uh, tomatoes are, they want it okay but yeah. what is the question here how much of fresh tomatoes should be dried so how much will be the pref uh, fresh tomatoes you know you need because fresh tomato ne contains water also right yeah yeah, we just learned about some uh, uh, information there. How much of tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, is when you dry it, it will become how much? That's why you should be attentive. One kg of onions or tomatoes becomes 100 grams when the water inside dries up. Okay. Okay. Now you tell me. You approach. Now you tell me what should be your approach. So. Okay. 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 Beautiful, 6 into 10. 6 into 10? 6 into 10 into 6. What is this? Why you, why everything it comes to your mind, you tell me all, all the numbers, is it? See. Yeah, 6 into 10. Whoa. 6 into 10, huh? Wait. What is the 600 grams? Amount of fresh tomatoes. Needed. Is this fresh tomatoes? Dried. Why dried? Why dried? Because. Look at this one. Every day, every person each person requires 10 grams of dried tomatoes. Okay? Yes. Dried tomatoes, 10 grams per day. Okay? Per person. So there are 10 person. So 10 into 10 is 100 grams per day of dried tomatoes. Okay? For 10 people. So again, we have 6 days. So 100 into 6 is 600 grams for six people for 10 days. They need 600 grams of dried tomatoes. Yes. Okay? Yes. Dry, they need 600 grams of dried tomatoes. Now, what is, is that the answer they are looking for? They are looking for what is the fresh tomatoes? It Use... Huh? Six. If six you are stuck... Seven. If you are stuck, stupid fellow... Use my approach, tabular approach. So many, if you dry so many fresh, so many amount of fresh, so many grams of fresh tomatoes, it will be so many, it will become dry, so many grams of dried one. So I have so many, I want so many grams of dried tomatoes. So how much fresh tomatoes I need? Use all the techniques that I taught you. So we need 600 grams of dried tomatoes. 600 grams of dried tomatoes. So I'm looking for fresh tomatoes. Yes. Use the techniques that I've taught you. Again, you are making me very, very, very angry. You don't want to use the techniques that I told, taught you?
if you cannot i i'm 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 eagerly waiting for the method what are the numbers that you want to multiply or divide i'm not looking for the final answer are you there yes what are you doing tabular method are you trying yes you should speak out don't make me angry try out 6000 grams correct i thought 6 6000 grams of fresh tomato is what is required but i am asking you how did you solve it okay every time i can't repeat this first i want to know how you came out whether you guessed it did you guess it i don't want guessing because every time you cannot guess it that is why i keep asking you how did you solve it what numbers did you multiply what numbers did you divide first tell me that and then give me the final answer in the starting they told uh, 1000 grams of uh, fresh uh, tomatoes uh, if, if we dry it it will turn into um, yes so uh, the table will hurry listen this table whatever i thought to is not for fun not for forgetting you should apply it if you otherwise you will get stuck you will not be able to solve anything fresh tomatoes dry tomatoes remember okay okay fresh tomatoes if i dry 600 1000 grams of fresh tomatoes it becomes how much dry tomatoes is how much 100 100 dry tomatoes so now i have 600 grams of dry tomatoes where should i write the left or right right okay here i need because it's a dry tomatoes this grass 600 grams is also of dry tomatoes so i should write under dried only 600 grams of dry tomatoes will be cost will require how many of uh fresh tomatoes so 600 into 1000 600 into 1000 divided by 100 okay So this two zeros, this zero goes. Now I'll be left with six into thousand is six thousand. Six thousand grams of fresh tomatoes is required. Yes. Which is nothing but how many kgs? Six. You should change your attitude. Attitude, okay? I'm not teaching this table or something. This is not my. I, this is not my invention. Okay. If you don't want to obey me, at least obey what 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 your te teachers taught you. Okay. This is not for fun. I taught you this one. This is not any um, new invention that I made, and you don't want to follow me, is it? You want to use your own methods to solve it. And do you have any 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 of your own method to solve it? do you have any any uh, your own method to solve it then do no. it then you do the way which you know read the last question read it what is the total weight of food for 6 days in each person's bag how will you calculate again you are making mistake you are keeping dumb I want you to speak. I am not looking for final answer. Okay, you just speak. Speak. I will do this thing. I will do these things. You just add these things. Something you speak. Okay. What? Okay. You tell me. So dry dried tomatoes. They need six hundred grams. 
What right. is your approach? You want me to scroll back? You just ask me to scroll up, and then you refer this table, right? Now tell yes. me, what is your approach? Rice six hundred grams. Or can we do it again? First, calculate everything for one day for one person, and then multiply by six. Is this fine? Yes. Ah, uh, do it. So uh, every person, uh, each person will need hundred grams of rice per day. Okay. Okay. Hundred grams of flour. Okay. Then what? What you tell me? Hundred grams plus hundred grams. That's that is what I'm asking you. Hundred grams plus hundred grams plus. What? Uh. Okay. Let's see. One minute. I'll tell you. Let's calculate it for six hundred. Six hundred. Uh, so for six days. Okay. Okay. Ah. Huh? Each one. Let us calculate it for six days. See, I'm asking. I'm looking for. You just tell me first. Calculate uh, it for six days and add everything. You will get it for uh, six days. Total. Total weight. That's what you can do, right? Yes. Why do you want me to tell this every time to you? I am not looking for the final answer. First, tell me the method. First, tell me the steps that you follow. Only then I'll have confidence in you. Okay? Yes. Let's calculate to make our life easy because there is a fraction, right? One third. Okay. Yes. So we will we'll try to convert it into six days. For six days, how many uh, grams of rice is required? Hey. For six days, six hundred grams. Why are you taking so long? Six hundred grams. Floor. Six hundred grams. Pulses. Just now we solved it. Two hundred. Two hundred divided by three into six days. So one's a, two's a, right? Two into two hundred is how much? Two into two hundred is how much? Four hundred. Where is your brain? Okay, For oil. How many grams? Uh, 300 grams sugar how many grams 300 grams milk powder how many grams 240 grams 240 grams tea how many grams 60 grams 60 grams dalia how many grams 240 grams 240 grams salt how many grams 30 grams dried onions is how many grams 60 grams dried onions is how much tomatoes 60 grams this is for 6 days each person will be carrying right yes so next what you will do add these things right Yes. Six hundred plus six hundred is one thousand two hundred. Plus four hundred is one thousand six hundred. Plus three hundred is one thousand nine hundred. Plus three hundred two thousand one hundred. Two thousand two hundred. Plus two forty is two thousand two thousand four forty. Plus sixty is two thousand two thousand five hundred. Plus two forty is two thousand seven forty. Plus thirty is two thousand 
2008 30 plus 60 is 2008 6 8 90 okay good but you verify it again and write the answer right okay see is it is what is the total weight of food for 10 days in each bag each person's bag so it is somewhere around 2890. That is what you are telling me, grams. Okay, let's see. Reeve. Even one gram extra can make the trick tough. Okay, for this fellow. Next. Yes, how many of us together weigh one gram? About 100. I don't think so. I, I think these ants will weigh around one gram, is it? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is another activity. Can we? Okay, probably we'll we'll complete this activity and then stop for the day. Come on. How heavy am I? Do you remember the story of how Vaidika's daughter found the weight of an elephant? Math, magic, class four, page one forty three. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you guess the weight of the heaviest animal on earth? No, it's not me. I only weigh 5,000 kgs. Yeah. It is the blue whale. Its weight is around 35 times more than me. So how many thousand kgs does it weigh? Tell me how you do it first. 5,000 into 35. Do it first. So uh, 35 into 5. Doing? Yes. One seven five zero zero zero. Correct. Okay. Next, read it. Guess how many children of your weight will be equal to the weight of an elephant of five thousand kgs? Okay. What is? Oh first? wait. Oh wait. We answered that question wrong. Which one? The above one. Why? So how many thousand kg? How many thousand? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, good, good. good. 175,000 kg. 175, answer is 175,000 kgs, but there is this 175. How many thousand kgs does it weigh? So 175,000 kgs already there. Yeah, very good, very good observation. Good. Next read. How many, uh, guess how many children of your weight will be equal to the weight of an elephant of 5,000 kg? I what am is your 20, weight? I am 20 kgs. 20 kgs or 25 kgs? Let's make our leave easy. 25 kgs. Let's say that you weigh 25 kgs. Okay. okay. How many Sriharis will be required? 5,000 to... divided by 25. Very good. How much? Uh, This is what I wanted. Initially, first immediately tell 25 this this step, 5000 divided by 25, and then later you can do your calculation. So it is 25 divided by 5000. Two is 50. Correct. Subtract mm -hmm. zero, and zero is still there. Bring it down. 200. Uh, 20, zero is 25 to zero is zero. Zero again, one more zero is right. Pending, bring it down. Zero, 25 zeros is again zero. The final remainder is zero. So I'll stop the division 200. 
So 200 Shri Haris will be required for one complete elephant. Okay. Okay. At birth, a baby elephant weighs around 90 kgs. How much did you weigh when you were born? I think 5 kgs. No, I think you were born around uh, 3 kgs something. 3.14 or something. 3 kgs or 2.7 kgs. Okay. Let's say, three, let's say 3 kgs. Okay. Read it next. Uh, well, how many times is a baby elephant heavier than you were at birth? Okay. I think 30 times, right? Okay, 30 times. Okay. So three, you were 3 kgs and baby elephant weighs 90 kgs. Yeah. So it is 90 divided by 3, that is 30. 30 times of baby Srihari will be one time of Srihari. Yeah. Yes. If a grown-up elephant eats 136 kg of food in a day, then it will eat around around. That means we should do an approximation. That's okay. You can do it. Read it. How will how you do much, it? How much days in a month? I told you before also, when 30. generally is 30 days, when I say days in a month, it is 30 days. And if I specifically want to mention something, I'll mention 31 days or 28 days. Okay. When I say so one, days in a month, it's always 30. 136 into 30. 136 into 30. Okay. Hare Krishna, hello? Hello. Hello? 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 Nice. Like read it. Guess how about how much it will eat in a year? How will you do it? So we have to uh, three sixty five. Uh, Correct. Tell me. Three sixty five into one thirty six. Very good. One thirty six into three sixty five. Okay, see yes. what some people might do is uh, 136 into 30, they will do it. That is in a month. Okay, and they directly multiply into 12. But if you, you can check, both the answers will be different. 136 into 30 into 12. So this is one month, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. So 136 into 365. This is another answer. Which answer is more accurate? This is more accurate. Why? Because yes. I know directly there are 365 days in a, week, in a year and I each day it eats 136 kgs. Okay. So direct yes. multiplication, you will do it. Okay. you It is your homework. I want you to do all these numbers and then tell me. Okay. Here what is happening if you multiply 136 into 30 into 12. See, so remember this. 30 into 12 is 360. So yes. five days the elephant will go hungry. Yes. Right. Yes. So why? Because some days will have 31 days instead of 30. Some will have 28 days, right? So I'm sure. No, I I'm sh we are sure that in a year it contains 365 days. So why not use that information and calculate the correct answer? Okay. Yes. Okay. That's all for today. We'll meet tomorrow. But you have work on this. Thank okay? you. Okay. Next time you see. Is it when I'm asking you a question? Just tell me this equation first, and then. Go for solving it and then give me the answer. This is what I've been Thank telling you. you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Can we talk for a while?